everyone. As you know, OpenCV is one of the most popular libraries for the computer vision, or we can say the image processing. But if we want to use it with C++, sometimes it is very hard to just install it because after the installation, it is very easy to use it. But to install it and to load each files, libraries, the DDL files, etc., sometimes it is very hard and in my case i used a lot a lot of ways but it doesn't work for me i don't know why but today i have a way for you i found the for the computer vision labs they are they are using this way and i have never seen it in youtube or something like that and you will see that it is very easy and very helpful i hope that it will work for you i think that it will work because uh, it works for anyone so but i don't know if you know it or not but for me, I have never seen it before. So this way is, as you know, if we want to use OpenCV for our for with C++, for example, in Visual Studio, we need to go here in these properties, and we need to add for the here, and we go here, and we need to add includes, we need to add libs and the linkers, etc. But and we need to do that in each project so if we do this for a project now if we want to create another project we have to do that uh, another time etc but i will show you a way which means we will create a file that contain all these libs all these paths etc we don't need even to change the path on environment as you know because there is a step if we want to install opcv there is a step that we need to change the path of the environment in the system but the way that I will show you, we don't need to do anything of that. As I told you, it is new for me and I don't know it is, if it is new for you, but I have never seen it. Now I will show you how does it work. After that, I will show you how you can create it. Now, for example, I have this uh, example. I found it in OpenCV documentation, which is the, the cascade detection that will detect the face and the eyes. So I show you that it work. After that, I will talk about how you can do it. Now, hi, it's me. Now, as you can see, it works perfectly OpenCV with the way that I show you. The version that I have is OpenCV 4.5 or 2.1, I think, yes. Then, and the way I, that I will show you, it works for any uh, version uh, you have, for example, I think from 3 and up. So, here, before, I will just copy this program and I will create a new one to show you that I am not kidding. New, then new project, console application. As you know, th this way work for the uh, for the Visual Studio uh, to 2019, 2017, or 2015 doesn't matter. So don't worry about that. So I will just leave it like this, or I will give it open CV example. Now I will create it. Now I don't need all this one, I will clear it. Now I will paste the program that... Where is the program? I think that I forget to copy it. I will just take it from here. It doesn't copy it. Now control A, control C. Control C to copy, then for the new one here, Control V as you can see. Now, as you can see here, the include there is errors in the includes in the different functions because it doesn't recognize these functions of OpenCV because we didn't do that work which is go here and do the different linking, etc. So, the way that I told you, we don't need all these things. So, first, I will just change this one to 64 and release but you can see that there is always the problem because it didn't import it now stay with me and i will show you how to do that there is just one way to solve this problem i will go here in the property manager like this if you don't find it you go here in the windows i think something like this windows edits file source control add, 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 add. i forgot when i found it projects view yes here in the view other windows and you will find it just here if you don't see it here with this windows you go here in the view then here other 
windows and you will find it just just here property manager this one okay so now after having this window here you go just in this you will find these folders in my case i am i am working in release and for 64 bytes but if you are using another one you can choose another one but for in my case i am using this one if you are using the release for win32 if you are using win32 for the debug or something like that but in my case and for the file that i have created that i will show you for that file i am using the release and for uh, 64 bytes so i i will go just here i will click here and we have we have to click in add existing property sheet so i will go i will I, I have to find the file don't worry for the moment i am just showing you how you can i have to go here now i have a lot of versions of c plus of python sorry so this is the file that i am i am talking about i will show you how you can import it then we will go inside this file and i will show you how it looks now i will just open it here it, as you can see it is here now there is no problem you can see i will run the program and you will see that it work yes you can see and here in my case i didn't do anything i didn't change the path environment or i didn't add libraries or the linking i did not i did nothing like that as you can see there is just this file point props i just load it in my project and everything is working okay as you know now how to do this we have just to create this one and in each project you have to add this one in the way that i have shown you now we will go to this file and we will see what does it contains now here then open cv this one now this is the file that we have imported i will just open it to show you what does it contains like this now as you can see this file has nothing it just will do the linking for us so we have to give it the link for the include and the link for all the include because there is two files there is this one just the folder and we have to give it the folder that contain the includes which which are the headers that we will use then here we have all we have to include to add the path of the libs then here this is the uh, the other libraries that we need to add so this one how would we have to add these names but in your case for example if you will use my version you don't need to to change any of these uh, names you have to change just the path it depends to where you are putting your file and for this one and this one and for the bin which is the, the ddl files but if you want to create uh, your version in this case you have to auto uh, i will show you here you have to download opencv from this uh, website i will leave the link in the description and you need to to download this uh, software which is cmake which will make your opencv folders and after that you have to make using cmake you have to create your opencv version for example if you are using another one 3 or 4.2 or something like that you have to create it I am I won't show you how you can do it because there are a lot of videos in YouTube that show you how you can create it I will leave one video that I, I followed in my case I will leave it in the description so that you can create your own uh, your own OpenCV version using CMake but in other case I will leave the uh, my my uh, my version which is 4.5 with this with this props with this one with this props in this case if you want to use it just it is okay i will leave the, the, the link and you can download it and use it you have just there is just some things that you have to uh, change which are this one this if for example if you have uh, here if you put it in the d and if you have another another folders here you have to take just the path to the include then there is the other part is for this one because here in my case if i will go here i have this part which is seeds open cv4 uh, slash include you have to put it here the first one here include then you have to enter to this folder and you have to copy this another folder so you have just ctrl c you have you have just to copy it in your case and put it here but if you have you are putting the same folder in the same uh, direction as mine so you don't need to 
to change any of these uh, paths. As you can see here, OpenCV 3.3, that it, this is just the name of the file. You can change it or you can leave it like that because I took this file from a OpenCV, OpenCV version 3.3, but I didn't want to change it because I don't need it. But if you want to change it, you have to, you can change it. Now, as you, as I told as I told you, if you are using my version of OpenCV, so you have to change just the paths if that is if you are putting your file in another path but if you if your file is at the same path as mine so you don't need to change any of these paths then if you want to create it by yourself and you want to use another version of OpenCV for example if there is another version in the new in the next year or something like that here you need to you to change these files because here as you can see on on each library that is the name of the library then that is here d for debug and without d for the release after that here you can see that here we have uh, how do we call it actually there is no uh, libraries for debug because this file i have created just for the, re the release but if you want to do that for the debug you, ha you can just you have just to add here d for debug because all the files have the name the same name but some files have this D for debug and others doesn't have this D which means for the release then here we have this number which is 455 51 sorry so this number means that this is OpenCV 4.5.1 but if you have for example OpenCV 3.3.0 sorry so we will have here 330 and if you have for example OpenCV 6 if you there is not uh, 6 but in the future if there is another uh, version of OpenCV 6.5.1 uh, I think like that for example and you here you can choose 6.5.1 which point one, one sorry which means you will have 651 and the same thing for the other versions if you, you need just to change this number and all the other files it's okay you don't need to add it because it exists in each version of C, of OpenCV so we will just say it another time if you are using my open version uh, my OpenCV version you don't need to to change all these things you have just to change the paths it depends to where you are putting your file but you have there is this part you have to use to change it and this one and for the lib and this one the last one which is for the binary files which means point ddls so there is one two three four you have there is four parts that you have you need to change it but if you want to use new yours and you want to create your uh, OpenCV version using CMake etc there are a lot of videos I will uh, leave just one which is I watch which way I followed I will put it in the description but if you have already your OpenCV you have did this work before using CMake so you have to change this name of versions and the paths and it will work now here I show you here for example this one this one is mine so I will go just here yes this one now as you can see here I will repeat this another time you, if you will create a new file we create new one so I will go here console application for example it depends to the project that you are using if you are using another one you can use another one so don't worry I, I will just for this example I will use console application so next I will leave it just like that for the example now I will clear this because I don't need it now I will paste sorry we don't need this one I need to copy the same project here paste it now here as you can see if we create a new project we have the problem etc what we need to do we have to import the file which we which will go here in property manager if you don't find it you go here in the view other windows and here property manager and you will click on it you will find it here but if it is already here you go here and it depends to the your PC and the exploitation system that you have so here for example you can change you if you are using debug and Windows uh, 32 so you go here and you add you do the same thing here and you add the, the file that we have created or if you are using the debug 
with the 64 you go here and the same thing for these now i forget to change this one i am working in the release 64 now there is always the problem but as i told you i am working on the release 64 so i will go here release 64 and i will add it here i will click here and add existing property sheets i will go here open cb4 and this is my file and i will add it like this and everything will work i will run it again just for the last time and you can see it works so i will close it now as you can see this is the way that i told you and you can see that it is very easy you will take five five six minutes to download the file and to change the path after that in each project you will you will spend five seconds to uh, to upload it here and everything will work so i hope that you enjoy it and if you are not subscribing in my channel please subscribe and thumbs up and leave a comment if it was very helping video and i see you in the next videos bye